Hello everyone, and it's Saturday, it's a beautiful day out, and today we're doing uh, a Pinot Noir from California, okay, Dark Horse Winery. Dark Horse makes about a dozen different wines, Chardonnay's Pinot. Now Pinot is, Dark Horse is located in Central Valley, uh, Central Coast of, of uh, California, okay, so it's got the ocean breezes, it's above Santa Barbara. And it's noted for its pinots there because it gets a little cooler, okay? And they get the ocean breezes coming off at night. But you have a good steady summer as far as weather goes. So it, it's conducive for that. And it, 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 it makes, and the soil there is that the clay, once again, the clay, limestone, and uh, gravel. And so that, that gives the, the, the wine, uh, the, it lets the uh, vines and the roots Drain, so it's a very well draining. So when you get good draining soil, that's what we talk about. Different California, Italy, wherever. If they step the hills, and it, and it, these are rolling hills, and if it has good soil and it drains, that grape gets time to, you know, mature and get a lot of juices and sugars in it, and it, it, it makes perfect for a Pinot Noir. Okay, that's why uh, you'll see Pinots also in Willamette Valley in Oregon originally. They went there before Central Valley because they knew that was a natural climate, but this climate does work because it has the ocean breezes and has the right soil mixture. Now, we, I picked Dark Horse tonight, okay? This is a 2015, because this is a shout out, my best buddy growing up, uh, Mickey Thomason. It's his wife's Joanne's birthday today, which I've known since high school. And uh, Mickey does that. She likes Pinot Noir, and so does Mike. And uh, Mickey likes the ponies, you know. So I figured Dark Horse and Joanne's dad, who was a successful banker, but as a retiring in years, he he went to work for Roosevelt Raceway, and he was still figuring the odds and the money lines when the uh, back on a calculator before they had computers. So uh, here's a shout out to you, Happy Birthday, Joanne, and all the best. Now. Uh, Central Coast, okay, it's, it's a, this, this, uh, Beth Lisbon, she's like line 39. This is, this is a winery, not a vineyard. She buys, she goes around and she buys wines from different vineyards, select wines, premium wines, grows some of her own wines, but mostly she's buying a lot of wines and she comes in and she sees, and, and she's very sharp and she's not afraid to take chances and be innovative and she, they have pretty high accolades. Her game, or her, what she wants to do in her wheelhouse is produce a good everyday wine at a fair value and give people a great value. So fair price, great value. And she's been extremely successful on it. And she's got a lot of accolades because of it. Now, Dark Horse here, this is going to probably drink a little richer than like a, a French I would, you know, I've had this before. So it's, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a bigger wine. Now this wine's done with 81%. When I say she mixes the grapes, see this is 81 set, 81% uh, Pinot Noir, 6% Ganache, and 13% of variety of different grapes. She takes the grapes, blends them, works with them. She'll take them up to sometimes on some of these. She takes them up to 82 degrees, right? boils them up, bringing out those juices, getting intensifying the aromas and the flavors. And then she brings it down. And then she, you know, she does the uh, stainless steel vat with that. And then she does them in oak, you know. And they're always, they're always playing with it, fixing it. And uh, so, we'll, and this is right above Central Bar, Santa, Santa Barbara, you know, Central Coast. So, and it's protected by some ranges and rolly hills from rains, and it's, it really is uh, found to be a... Now, these wines... Now, this, surprisingly, like last night we had that wine. This wine can go eight years. It's not a wine to lay down, but it's got, his, her wines sometimes are big. I got big tannins. You can... Like this wine here, if, if, if you buy... See, another thing too with wines in California, from 2012 to 2018, extraordinary vintage. You almost can throw a dart and not go wrong. The weather's been great, you know. Everybody, you know, global warming, but it's good for the grapes, I guess. But 
you know, it's the wines have been fantastic. Now you might go, and things run in cycles, you know. So, you know, the 10 years before that, not so good. 10 years before that, good. So if you see a wine you like, even at this, you can sit this wine five or six. This wine, most Pinot Noirs in California, most wines, they don't want you to drink the 17 and 18 yet because they're so tannin because the weather was so good and the grapes got so rich in the soil. So they say, hold them, they're ready to drink. Now, this wine's ready to drink right now and it's still good and it, it's perfect to drink and you can still drink it for another five, six years, okay? So, it's, it, it, but by, when you're looking at them, from 2012 on, if you walk into a store, you're pretty good. Almost all Californians. Now, French have been fantastic for the past three years, but a lot of those are expensive wines, okay? This is dark cherry. This is good. This is what I like. Dark cherry berry. This is going to be a pretty rich wine. Now, if you had the hobnob French, and this, the difference between the hobnob, and I drink the hobnob a lot, hobnob's a lot lighter. It's more like a nice table. This, a bigger wine, it's Pinot Noir, the French, same kind of money. So this wine, this wine only sells for $9. And that's why, you know, she's smart. She buys from, the, she buys from good vineyards. She picks 15 premium vineyards. She gets good grapes, and then she mixes a better grape with it. And that's why she's successful. Boy, that is nice. That is very nice. You're going to like this wine. I would have to say, out of all wines under $10, top five answers on the board survey says, Dark Horse. <laughs> this is a nice. This 2015 is very nice. Now, it'll be better than a 17 or 18 because there's going to be a lot more tannin. This is just about ready. They might even say to hold this for another year, but this is this is going to drink nice for the next three to four years. 15, six. So if you go in and you see a 15, matter of fact, if you go to try to buy this right now, 2015, I bet you'll see it sold out in a lot of places. Because when they tasted it two years ago, they go, wow, you can hold it, you can sit with it, it's so reasonable. Buy a couple of cases. Boy, this is balanced too. This is velvet, balanced. This is a good one. This is nice. Now this wine, because it sits, right? It's, this Pete and lots, I've had some of our wines, right, that were a little more bigger, you know, bite, more bite. This is velvet. This would work with, but this would still work with spicy food. This would work better with richer foods than the Hobnob French, okay? Because this one, is, is a, you know, this you could work with, you know, steak, burgers, medium cheese. It's not, this is, this is medium to full wine. It's a very comfortable drinking wine, you know? And that's the beauty of these wines. Now, if you were to face this off in a blind tasting, if you bring this in, the guy goes to wine, taste this, he's gonna go, oh, dog costs $9. It ain't gonna do it, do blinds. Blind tastings are so much fun. You get three wines, have five or six people over, do them and see, you know. It's like Dom Perignon. Very rarely, very rarely does well in a wine, in a, uh, in a wine, blind wine tasting because it's a, it's a bit of grape, it's a bigger bubble, you know. Vive Clicquot blows it away because it's a softer, sweeter bubble, you know. So, but people see Dom Perignon, oh, oh this is the best. <laughs> You know, but it's, it's good champagne, but it's, that's what it is. But this wine here, I'd say this is a keeper, okay? So listen, have a great Saturday. And you know what? This has also got, it's got good acidity. I like this a lot. You know, it's just a proper amount of acidity. This is going to work for a while because you can sell it the city of towns. This is going to be around for a couple more years. You got a little city, a little bite. If they just go bland in your mouth, 
they're going to be shot in one or two years. This is going to last five or six more. Now, uh, I want you to have a great weekend. Tomorrow we're going to do, we're going to go up the, up the road a little bit. We're going to go to Oregon. I was going to go to Spain, but I think we're going to go to Oregon. We're going to Willamette Valley. We're going to do, uh, we're going to do a, a, a Pinot Gris, okay, a white. So uh, we're going to Oregon, so get ready to hug some trees, okay? A little Tai Chi, that kind of stuff. Listen, God bless, and uh, listen, it's a beautiful day here. I, I, I went out today to take a ride for a minute in a car. Way too many people out. Try to stay home. I thought to myself, it's like a guy coming out, you know, having a heart attack. He goes, oh, let me stop at Carvel and have a banana split. Relax, stay home, give it a while, okay? Social distancing, mask, you know, this ain't, uh, it ain't prom weekend, okay? Relax and stay home a little bit. Now, listen, God bless you. Let's say our prayers for everybody, okay? And uh, we come through the storm, you know what we're going to see, right? We're going to see the lighthouse, and then we'll have fun. God bless and take care. Bye-bye.